for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys some new stuff in Madden, some new solos, and how to get a free 98 overall card, I believe. Not in 97. I was going to say 97, but we are in the 98s now. So, this may be common knowledge. may not be. I'm just going just gonna to go over it because... I go over the majority of things that I see that's useful that I like. So I'll probably be doing this now because that is a very good deal to me. Also, if you guys haven't yet already, go check out my last video and go check out the giveaway I'm doing. It's a 98 DeAndre Hopkins giveaway. We've had about, we haven't had too many entries. So it's a very, very good chance of winning. It did do very well the video though. And so did the Twitter poll for it. So you guys still have a chance to enter. I don't know when I'll be ending it. Probably sometime later this week. So you guys still have a chance. Go to the last video. Check it out. It's um, it'll be called the giveaway video. Also, thank you guys for all the support. We gained about 100 subscribers yesterday, which is awesome. We're back on a good pace. I'm loving this. I don't know if it's the MLB. I don't know if it's Madden, but they're both killing it. I'm loving all the support, guys. I couldn't do, do half the things I'm doing right now without you. I'm loving all the support from each and every one of you. So, um, if you guys could, before we get into this video, make sure to like, comment. As per usual, 10K for a chance at 10K. I'll be always picking two. You guys have not hit the like goal yet, so I haven't been actually giving away the coins, but... I'll hit the, the like goal is going to be 150 likes for this video. If we get 150 likes, I'll be giving away. Actually, let's make it 20K. Type 20K down below. If we hit 150 likes, I'll be giving 20K away to two different people. I'll pick randomly in the comments for the next few videos, depending on when you guys hit the like goal. Also, make sure to subscribe. We're try I'm trying to hit 2K by April. That is tomorrow. Can we get 500 subscribers tonight? Probably not. But I'm going to push you guys to try, and maybe we can hit it by next We'll hit it by next week if you guys keep up the amazing support. So let's get into this video. So before... I show you guys where it is. I'm gonna give you guys my picks for who I think you should be taking. I'm gonna go under here because I believe you can find all of them here. Yeah, okay, so the players you can pick from are Joey Bosa, Jimmy Smith, Quinn Nelson, and you can get Roquan Smith, DeAndre Hopkins, and Adrian Peterson. So now, ranking my favorite pick. So coming in at last will probably be the Adrian Peterson. Now, I love Adrian Peterson. I'm one of his, he's one of the all-time greats. I'm a big fan. But his stats are cool. But the issue with Adrian Peterson is that it's a running back heavy game. There's plenty of free ones. It's just overkill to even keep taking more running backs. You probably have plenty. You probably have a Saquon, a Ricky, maybe a Barry. Maybe, I can't even think of now, Walter Payton. You probably have so many running backs already. Christian McCaffrey. So for this card, I'm going to rank him last. He has really good, really good stats. 95 speed, 94 excel, 95 agility, 96 carrying, 97 break tackle, 98 truck, 92 elusiveness. So great, great stats. Can you catch? No, but it's an AP card. I would never expect him to catch. He's tall, and he's got good strength, so he's going to be useful. If you're if you're an AP fan, a Vikings uh, fan, or a Redskins fan, knock yourself out, or Saints. But um, the next one, it might have to be DeAndre Hopkins. You have to go with DeAndre Hopkins, because DeAndre Hopkins is a wide receiver. He's amazing. But again, DeAndre Hopkins is a card. I can't even... I mean, I can go... No, I'm adding to the set. So DeAndre Hopkins, useful. Great stats. I showed you guys in yesterday's video stats. I'm not going to go over it again, but it's just that he's a wide receiver. And there are so many. Well, any wide receiver could be that wide receiver right now. You can get Calvin. You already have Calvin powered up, Tyreek powered up, Odell. There's so many cards. They're all the same looking wide receiver. So I don't really differentiate between the two anymore. Now, coming in at third, uh, it's going to have to probably be this Quentin Nelson. Because I love Quentin Nelson. I do. I love, I love this left guard, but... He's, he's already, there's already other end game cards on the line already, and he's a lineman, and I'm gonna have to go with him. I have this Quinn Nelson, definitely an upgrade though, I'll definitely want to pick up this Quinn Nelson at some point. I wish I had the rookie premiere, actually it wouldn't even be counted, never mind. But, this Quinn Nelson's a beast, end game, every stat's gonna be almost 99 when fully powered up, and um, chemistry chemed up, so you can't go wrong with him. My favorite part about Quinn Nelson is his uh, lead block, if you look at this, it's pretty crazy. Pretty sure, what is it, like a 99 now? Let's get to it, let's get to it. No, that's this thing. Lead block is a 98, so if powered up to 99, you put lead away, and this guy, this guy's pancaking everyone in his way. Guy's awesome. Now, coming in next, we're going to get this Roquan Smith. Awesome card again, but he's a middle linebacker. We already have Ray Lewis, Ryan Chazier, Bobby Wagners, and probably plenty others. I can't even think right now of all of them, but good. All right. 92 speed, 94 excel, 83 strength, 98 tackle, 92 play rec, 91 zone, 97 hit power, block, 90 block. So this card... Awesome user, godlike stats. Once he's powered up and chemmed up, it's gonna be 
amazing. Gonna be one of probably the best or one of the best middle linebackers in the story. Lewis and Chase here, obviously. But he can he can you don't have to use him. He can man up the thing himself. He has a 91 zone. He has the hit power. That hit power's gonna be max. Everything's gonna be he can be blitz, he can do everything. But he is a middle linebacker, so it's not as the position is not a premier position this year as much as it usually is because of what cards we've been given. Now the top two are probably gonna be Jimmy Smith and Joey Bosa, in my opinion, that I would pick. Now that's Jimmy Smith. He's got a 93 speed. The speed's a little low though. The speed's a little low, but with Sprinter and with um, the John Madden cams, he'll probably max and powered up. He'll come out to like a 97 speed. And then if you get the, I have I have 25 out of 25 Ravens. 25 out of 50 Ravens as my backup, so that's gonna be a 98 speed for him. And then he's gonna have maxed out zone. He's gonna be he's gonna be locked. He's gonna have 99 all coverage stats with the 98 speed. So he's gonna be amazing. It all comes down to his agility, truthfully, a 95 agility. What's his? It comes down to his running too. His juking. Uh, I don't like they don't have a spin move. I hate when the. I mean, he's good agility though, but I hate when they can't move on the on the pick. But I'm gonna put have to put him above. I personally like Quentin Nelson more than Jimmy Smith, but from a Madden standpoint, I guess a cornerback would be more valuable. And also, I also like Roquan better, but everyone I couldn't even use him if I wanted to. So I'd have to take him. And then Jimmy Smith. I mean, oof, it's early guys. And then Joey Bosa. Probably gonna be the top guy on the board just because he's a left end. Left, you need a pass rusher. I have Khalil Mack, obviously, but if people don't have their, their premier pass rusher, the most important position out of all these four over stats, out of all these most important positions, would have to be left end, cornerback, and middle linebacker. Those are probably gonna be the most important positions that you could pick from. So, Joey Bosa out of those three are gonna be the best one, in my opinion. Because obviously, I said a Jimmy Smith, I'd rather have like a Dion or a Champ. Not that everyone has that option, but he's an 84 speed with sprinter and powered up. He'll probably have like an 88 speed, 87 speed, depending on how what your team's looking like. Um, gonna have almost maxed out play rec, power move, and block a finesse move. And his block show will hit the now. It'll hit the tier. His strength is 90, so he's pretty strong. A little agile. Can he catch? 56 catching. So I mean he could probably play a QB spy. Once his jumping 81. Mm, not as good as Clomac. Clomac still obviously better than this card, but this is free. Clomac was not. Oh, what was his power? What was his hit power? His hit power was. Damn, where'd it go? 91. Okay, so great card. So let me get into where it is. Probably, like I said, self-explanatory. Not gonna, you know, sugarcoat it like I found some. Obviously, it's self-explanatory. I mean, if you know about it, you don't have to really watch this video. I'm just helping those guys who just come on here occasionally. Maybe they only subscribe to me. Maybe they don't. Maybe other people haven't talked about it. I'm not really sure. So come over to solos. Very, very simple. It's just these 30, 31 solos right here. They are moments all the way, I think, until the end. Usually, they have some full games towards the end. So, we come about right here. They're going to be... Now, it's time to take the Raiders. Be the first round. Full game. Okay, only the last game is a full game. This, I mean, they start in the second quarter. So, it gets around here just about as when it's going to start picking up and how annoying they are to play. But you do get draft items too, so you're getting currency plus beating the games, plus any um, challenges you're beating for like your uh, your objective list. So that's pretty cool. So you're gonna get the player right here. 31 games, not bad at all. Probably take no more than two hours, give or take, if you did it straight. So not bad at all. And um, yeah, that's about it. I would highly recommend. It. There's no chance. I, I would rather do this in house rules to be honest. It's a better reward than house. Okay, this week's house rules was the exception. It was awesome, but it was a lot of games. But I wasn't around for that, so I'm not even going to speak about that one. I missed it because I was in LA. But this one, awesome. Would we'll get this done. There's a lot of solo guys you can hit up on um, Twitter if you really want to. Solo Man UT, if you know him. Go hit him up to get these done for you. Be quick and simple. Get yourself a 98 overall. But that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. First, before I end the video. I never really do this. If you guys are still here, I'll probably do it again. Go over to Twitter and follow me on Twitter. I don't have I don't have any followers on Twitter in comparison to here. So whenever I'm trying to talk to people on there about YouTube related stuff, I'm talking to guys that like don't even watch me on YouTube sometimes. So like, it doesn't really help when I say on there. I need to talk on YouTube instead. But I don't have a community tab yet, so I can't really talk to you guys directly there. So everyone watching this video, if you're still watching, I'll say it again next video. Go over to Twitter, Poodle underscore Gaming underscore. Go follow me. The link will be down below in the description. Just click on it, drop the follow, so that when I talk on there, I can update you guys on like what I'm doing, why I'm not posting. Because everyone was asking like, where was I the week of LA? You know, where were you? Did you stop posting? Are you done with YouTube? Like, no, I was just, I, I was, I was trying to tell you guys I was in LA. Everyone on Twitter knew, but all the guys on Twitter are other Madden YouTubers and stuff that follow me that aren't you guys. So, just letting you know, go over to Twitter, follow me on there. And if you haven't already, drop the sub. I'm trying to get 2,000 by tonight. Don't want to be negative, but it's not gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. Underestimated you guys before, but we'll probably get about to about 1.6k tonight, and then hopefully by next week we just 
burst right through 2K, and I'm um, be very happy about that. My end end goal is between 8 to 10, 7 to 10K subs by Madden 20. Possibility, kind of medium, medium possibility. Not very likely, but it's just a goal. So I like I feel like setting goals for myself. That's, I like to track things as we go. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like goal, 150 likes. Comment down below 20K. And let's drop that sub, guys. And I'll probably be doing another giveaway for YouTube. I'm giving away a lot of players for my team right now. So stay on the lookout for those. I'm out. See you guys later.